So you've got your hands on a Bamboo Lab 3D printer, and now you're staring at it thinking, where do I even begin? Well, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into everything you need to know to get started with the Bamboo Slicer. Let's make it fun, fast, and frustration-free. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. First up, what is Bamboo Slicer? Well, it's a magic translator that takes the 3D model we got in the last video and tells your printer how to build it, layer by layer. Think of it kind of like the DJ for your printer's dance party or something like that. <laughs> so a quick heads up, this video will be directed towards Bamboo Slicer. Now, it doesn't mean you can't use these steps on Orca Slicer or Prusa Slicer or other slicers out there, but in this series, we've been talking about why Bamboo Lab printers are the best for beginners to start with, so I'm gonna focus on Bamboo Slicer in this video. There are a ton of really good videos if you're looking for other slicers out there. Uh, just jump out there, type the name of your slicer into YouTube. So the first thing we need to do is download the slicer. So you wanna head over to Bamboo Lab's website, download the Bamboo Studio and install it. The website is linked in the description below if you wanna go directly there and just run the install when it pops up. Here's a pro tip, if you're using a Bamboo Lab printer and you have it connected to your internet and you're using the Bamboo Slicer, then grab your phone or your tablet and download the Bamboo Handy app because things can seamlessly sync between all three. You'll be able to check up on your printer, including the uh, camera, right from your phone or your tablet. I'm holding nothing here, but that's what I meant, your phone or your tablet. <laughs> so once Bamboo Studio is installed, we need to connect a printer. If you did not run through that on the setup and add a printer at that time, what you need to do is open up Bamboo Studio, Click on add printer at the top, select your Bamboo Lab printer, and then what nozzles you're gonna be using, if it's a 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, etc. And then done, you just hit the finish button at the bottom, and now your slicer is like BFFs with your printer. You're all combined and you're ready to go. Now you can also add other printers that are not Bamboo Lab printers if you want to, and it's done the same way. But when you go through it and go into the options, you just wanna pick whatever manufacturer is you know that you're trying to add so in this case if we go to settings and add printer then select the model of printer you have whatever other model it is and then finish don't forget to add your filaments in there as well but it's super easy to add other manufacturers printers to bamboo studio as well now we need to bring that 3d model that we talked about in the last video and import it into bamboo slicer and it's super easy to do all you do is you got to go up click the import model button at the top and grab that cool thing you just downloaded from Things or Printables or Maker World or even STL Flix. And if you haven't jumped on the STL Flix bandwagon, there's a link in the description below that'll save you 50% off your first month of the commercial license and you can sell all of the models that you print. Can't sell the files, but you can sell any of the models that you print. That's pretty awesome. So check out the link in the description below for that. They have pretty much everything you need to do, especially for beginners, and they, they walk you through everything right on their website. So check the link, it's in the description, like I said, on to the next thing. Once you got the model on the build plate, it's like in that virtual workspace. You can move it around, you can zoom in, you can zoom out. If you're feeling super fancy, you can adjust the size, maybe big it bigger, uh, rotate it around, you can duplicate it so your printer prints multiple models of the same thing. It's kind of like playing Tetris, but with like 3D objects in a slicer. And at the end of the game, you actually get something in your hand to hold. So there's that. Now here's where the real fun begins. We need to choose our print settings. We're gonna start with basic settings uh, on the basic settings tab. You wanna select your material if you're gonna use a PLA like we talked about in a couple videos ago or, or PETG. Whatever material you're gonna use, you wanna choose that up in the top left. And then you wanna choose your print quality. Is it gonna be really super detailed or do you wanna do like a draft for speed? And that's where your layer heights come in. So the smaller the layer height, the 0.12, the 0.16, uh, the 0 0.08 that is going to be a longer time to print but a smaller layer height to come out with a better resolution on your print if you're making something super fast maybe you're going to use it for something to, to add to a piece of a part or something i actually use the draft uh, setting for speed it's like 0 0.28 or 0 0.3 way up it prints so much faster and it doesn't really have to look great so i don't really care does it come off looking bad? Absolutely not. 
but it will look a little bit different than is if you choose the smaller layer heights like the 0.12 or whatever but high quality is going to be for those smooth brag worthy prints and then the draft settings is going to be more for the things you use at home that you just want to hammer out and start using but don't worry about tweaking all the things in here yet uh, all you need to know is that bamboo's presets are actually pretty amazing for beginners trust me don't mess with anything for now you're gonna thank me later once you start printing and you start learning about the slicer a little more, if you want to tweak settings, if you want to go through the calibrations, stuff like that, go for it. But to get started for the print, for the model we just grabbed, all you want to use is your default settings. That's it. Are you ready to see the magic now of the bamboo slicer? Hit that slice button and watch your slicer transform the 3D model into layers that your 3D printer will understand. Before hitting that print button, use the preview tab to check for any errors or spaghetti monster situations. For example, I put this large print in here that has a bunch of overhangs and needs supports to make it right. If I slice it without supports, the slicer is going to yell at me and say that something's not right, that there's big overhangs right in the bottom corner. So to fix that, I need to add supports. To do that, we go to the supports tab and turn it on it's pretty much easy the easiest way to get started with supports is just pick either normal or tree auto mode so you want to pick auto in either of those either auto or tree i love the auto tree supports that's that's my favorite thing to use and you just let the slicer decide if it needs supports or not once you turn that on you do hit that slice button again and you're going to see those supports uh, show up around the model as you learn more about the slicer and models you'll be able to identify if a print needs supports from the start or not or if you just want to wing it and see if it's going to work. I do that sometimes, I'm not going to lie. But it's better to be safe than sorry, right? I want to make sure it, my print succeeds every time, if possible. It's never going to happen every time, but every time, if possible. And sometimes you just need to add supports to make that happen. Another cool thing about the slicer is that after you slice the model and you see the model there, there's a slider on the left side and you can actually drag it down and watch how the printer is going to print. If you drag it all the way down to the bottom and start raising it up, it's actually going to show how that 3D model is going to print layer by layer all the way to the top. It's pretty cool if you want to check that out. And it's a good way to decide like if you have any crazy floating stuff that might not succeed. Most of the time Bamboo Slicer takes care of that. So if everything looks good, click that print button. If your printer is connected via Wi-Fi, Bamboo Studio is going to send that print straight to the printer. If not, you're going to need to save that print onto your computer, pop in your SD card like it's 2010, drop the file onto that SD card, and then once you put your SD card back into the printer, you're going to be in business. And that's it. You've officially taken the first model we got, put it into Bamboo Lab Slicer for the first time, sliced it, and sent it to your printer. You're on your way to becoming a 3D printing pro at this point. So grab filament, hit that slice button, get that plastic melting, and get your printer doing what it's meant to do, making you some really cool stuff. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more 3D printing, laser, and CNC action. And please don't hesitate to reach out in the comments and let me know if there's maybe tips or something you have for this slicer or if you have any questions about the slicers too. I'll definitely check the comments of this video. Also in the comments, let me know what you're going to be printing. What was that first print you got? What was the print you're working on now? I'm always curious to see what everybody in the community is printing and I want to know what your next print is going to be after this video. Happy printing. I'm going to catch you in the next one and if you haven't seen this video right here, you definitely got to watch that next.